What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Mesmer. This is a game that's set in sort of a surreal world where you're starting a revolution against the king. And you will do that by blackmailing, protesting, leading crowds, and ultimately just causing disarray. So let's dive on in, let's cause disarray, let's cause data ray. All of the rays that we can possibly cause are what we're going to be putting out there. Do I have a pet pig? Is that what that is? I don't even know if that's me in all honesty. It's a pretty cute pig though. Dude, I've always wanted a pet pig. I always thought a pet pig would be a cool thing to have. Just a big old piggy running around the house doing piggy stuff. Alright, Terry, sorry to wake you, but I need to talk to you right now. It's urgent. Alright, Captain, go ahead. First of all, don't call me that. I'm not a captain anymore. The police took away my ship. My crew and myself are now landlocked for life. Uh, what happened? Started with some cargo I picked up. Turns out the king put an embargo on goods shipped to Mesmer. The police boarded my ship, took everything, and left me with the high to dry. No trial, no nothing. The state is going mad with power, I tell you. Yeah, it's unfair! How'd you manage to stay afloat? For now, but things are getting worse by the day. The only job we could get down was the Bass Bearing or the Bass Herringbones Cannery. All right, is it that bad? You don't know what you're talking about. Conditions are mutt poor. Me and my crew formed a union of sorts. We're putting up a strike, fight for our rights. You know. All right, fair enough. Why are you telling me? I need you to go to the cannery. It's down the stairs to the docks. Get three workers to join the strike. I'll be at my house down the street if you need help. All right, how do I get them to join me? They're human, aren't they? Find out what they need or want, then use it to your advantage. If you offer help to anybody, you'd better come through. Nobody likes empty promises and word gets around quickly. I hope you understand that. Alright, well what about your crew? They'll be out of your way. Just focus on the workers outside the cannery. Alright, where are they? They should be working at the cannery right now, going downstairs to the docks outside the house. Alright. Okay, so there they are right there. So I guess we probably like... Okay, I had to reset that. Apparently the controls were set to controller only for the moment. And so here we are. Uh, we're able to move around, they said, across the street, down here, and it looks like the big red dot is going to be our guide. Let's go see if we can find some revolutionaries to get us like involved in some musical numbers on top of barricades or something. Do you hear the people sing? Listen, I'm on the clock. This should be quick. I need you to join the strike for me. You need at least three points to convince... Marlin Snapper. You can get four at most. Alright, sounds good. I can bribe him using valuables. Our negotiation will last an hour. Or I can do a mission for him in exchange for the favor. Alright, let's do a mission. Alright, so there's something you could help me with. Tell you what, I'm awfully hungry. That Andre Bate keeps nicking my lunch from the kitchen. I'll join your strike if you promise to get my lunch back from him. Alright. I'll be off to the other strikers. I trust you can keep your end of the deal. All right, where's that dude at? He's over here, you lunch-stealing bastard. I I've seen people steal lunches at work. That's not, I'm not down with it. There he is. What is it? I'm working. I need to talk to you. So I'm urging you in the habit of stealing people's lunches. Stealing lunches? What gives? Martin Snapper said you took his lunch. Hogwash. I get my lunch from the cannery kitchen on the company dime. That's Marlin's lunch that you've been nicking. Really? So there are no free lunches then. I feel bad here. Give it back to Marlin. I'm sorry, I guess. Should go apologize too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit your nagging. I already lost my lunch today. Well, almost my lunch. Guess I gotta work on an empty stomach. All right. Well, let's go take this back to. Oh no, dude. Where'd the sweeper go? Is he over here? All right. Let's go look for him real fast. Marlin, I have your lunch. Here's your. Here's your lunch. My stomach's been growling since this morning. Did you get my sandwich back? I did. I did. Did that oaf tell you why he kept taking my food? I uh, thought it was provided by the cannery. He did. 
I mean, that bag with my sandwich had my name on it. I mean, look right there. It says Marlin. Anyways, thanks for the help. All right, so we got one person done right now. We got somebody on strike. What about you, sir? Would you like to join the revolution? Need three points for Lamper. Okay, what quest does he have, though? There is something you could help me. You know, I do kind of like... I do kind of like that, like, every single person you can talk to them, and every single person has their own reputation towards you, and, like, every person has, like, their own goals, and by helping one person, I could see potentially down the line we're going to be hurting other people, and you're going to see natural alliances drawn. Me, I'm just extrapolating right now, but it seems like that's what this is leading towards, and that's an idea that I very much like. Uh, the thing is, I've managed to lock myself out of my house. I'll join the strike if you can get me a lockpick. All right, where can I get one? The pawn shop has them. Pawn shop Pete has it, all right? Let's go talk to Pawn Shop Pete. I do like that it clearly delineates and marks. Since we're on a timer, if the game didn't like mark and show you the things that you're supposed to do, this would actually be kind of stressful. But I do very much like the fact that it's just like, hey, go over here. You've got this much time to like raise a revolution before the day is over. We'll go to Pawn Shop Pete real fast. I don't know if time is flowing while I'm walking around. I don't think that it is. I can hold a speech right there. Interesting. Is this Pawn Shop Pete's right here? All right, let's go to the Pawn Shop. Hey there, name's Pete. Welcome to my humble pawn shop. What you want today? Sell your old family jewels? Perhaps buy some new ones? Uh, I'm here to shop. All right, I need a lockpick. It's going to cost me one dollarino. All right, that's all that I needed. I only have four dollarinos left, though, so unfortunately, like, if time goes along, my net worth is decidedly negative right now. I don't know if you've ever lost 20% of your net worth in, like, an hour, but... It's kind of a shocking experience. I mean, I don't know how many people in my audience hang out on Wall Street Bets. Some of you have probably gone through that numerous times already. All right, where's this dude at? I gotta give him this lock pick right here. What he wants? He said he locked himself out of his house, but I bet he's gonna rob somebody. All right, so here is the lock pick. Now I can get back into uh, my house. Yeah, exactly. This dude's gonna rob somebody. I know it. 6 a.m. right now. Okay, so we need like. One more person. I kept my promise. Oh, the workers like me better now. Sweet. Uh, is anybody else like a worker around? Eric Clampton. I need you to join a strike. You have an awesome mustache. Let's try this thing. What does this do? Yay! Clampton was convinced. I kind of did that accidentally, but you know what? I'll take it. It looks like the wheel is your reputation on the left for the individual person, and then your reputation with his associated faction on the right is my guess how that works, and then the margins are going to get larger and larger depending on how much they like you. All right, my man joined the strike. I can tell Jessica Earhart that the strike is on. Can I get more people to strike? What is this down here? Hold on. There's a little goo pile. <gasps> Kitty! Yeah, pet the kitty. 10 out of 10 IGN. We can pet the kitties. The kitties can be petted. We have verified. This is what the Nerd Castle is all about. This is the coverage that you're not going to see on GameSpot and stuff, all right? They're not going to be like, hey, you can pet the cat. That's why you come to me. Is because I've got those refined tastes that necessitate that when I see an animal in a game, I go over and see if I can pet them. Can I pet this animal? Hold on, that's my piggy right there. What does this do? There's nothing. Oh, I can go through the rubbish bins. Gotcha. And it looks like it eats up an hour. I found a fish bone. How is that helpful? Can I give it to the cat or something? That kitty's got a hat on! That kitty is way cuter than the last one. That kitty has obviously had a better socioeconomic situation than the prior kitty. Got anything? Uh, yeah. So the strike is on. Good work, Terry. I knew I could count on you. Take these scruples for your... I like how the money is scruples in this game. That's kind of a clever... It's kind of on the nose, but it's also kind of clever. I, I dig it. All right, so I hope the strike gives you what you want. So do I, Terry. So do I. Speaking of that, I have something else I need your help with. Can I count on you again? What is it? It's about Ford Closure. He's the real estate mogul that's living down the street. Not the most pleasant fellow, but his money could come in handy. All right, so what about him? My union needs funds. I need you to go to Ford Closure and persuade him to make a donation. I reckon five scruples will do. All right, I can squeeze a rich guy for money. One more thing. I know a few facts about him that he'd rather not have go public. Here, this envelope has the juicy details. All right, where's he live at? Follow the street eastward. You can't miss his mansion. It's a giant pink house that's as big as his ego. All right. I mean, he lives right down the street from him. He's, like, across the street. All right. 
I want to pet the cat with the hat again, like, really, really badly. Like, I, I super want to, but we've got important tasks that we need to take care of. You look more classy than the usual riffraff that dirties up my apartments. What can I do for you? All right. I'm not going to waste your time. I need a favor. Actually, do you have any work for me? I've got a task. Why don't you ask me for a favor? See if I have anything to match it. All right. Could you do me a favor? I'm listening. I need you to spare five scruples. So I need six points and I can only get four. I can blackmail him. I can give him food. Or I can take a mission. Let's go with the mission. As a matter of fact, I do have a task for you. There's one troublesome tenant, Luigi Sardini. Hasn't bothered to pay the rent in three weeks. Give me the three scruples he owes and I might start trusting you. All right, let's go talk to Luigi. Be careful, though. This tenant, he's known to be rough. If you need backup, talk to Snout Stitches. He's the leader of a gang, the Hog Riders, or something like that. All too familiar with violence, from what I hear, and a glutton, too. Give him a sandwich, and I bet he'll help out. Hey, would you like to uh, help me bust a guy's noggin? Don't you want to help me crush a melon out here? Take this sandwich. Yes, that sounds wonderful. All right. So we'll get some backup from Snitches. Let's go over here. Stitches. Sorry. I have a fish bone. People won't eat it, but maybe cats will. Ooh. Okay. I don't know how I feel about working for a wealthy landlord, but, like, we'll see how this goes. This sort of seems like it's probably counter to the revolution, but, like, eh. Hey, I don't know your mug. You're not another dressed-up blue cap, are you? I need you to do something for me. Yeah? What might that be? Uh, let's see here. I need you to teach someone a lesson in humility. You bag me up on this? There we go. We'll give him the sandwich over here. All right, so we need five points. We can get eight at most. That's pretty good odds. I didn't realize we were still going to have to, like, do our thing out here. Hey, we got our five points, if nothing else. I'd like it better if you got to do each wheel individually, but I guess that's probably why. It probably unbalanced the game if you could. Yeah, it's a nice snack for the next time we're on a ride. I'll do that thing you asked. All right. So now we got to find Luigi Sardini. Who appeared... Does that, does that pig have butt cheeks? Those pigs have butt cheeks. All right, fair enough. <laughs> like, they got, like, big booty butt cheeks, too. I found another fish bone, huh? What is that? Available threats in West. Oh, okay. So, like, I actually get threats that I can call in with my, like, political allies and stuff. All right. So, like, we can really kind of, like, rally the troops and kick the crap out of somebody if we need to. The workers like me. The merchants like me. The underground. This is probably going to mess me up with somebody. Shaking somebody down for the rent doesn't strike me as being one of those things that, like, is going to work out great, but... What is that right there? What's that red dot? Uh, maybe Luigi's not inside the district right now? I honestly have no idea. We only have eight hours left, though, so, like, I'm not sure how I get after that guy. The gate is flagged right there. But... Let's return to Jessica with the scruples first. Like, we've got her money, and that's got a much, much shorter timer on it, so let's go ahead and take care of that real fast. Alright, I bet you're wondering why I ain't the one rallying them workers at the docks. That's because I can't be seen as openly as the leader of the strike, and that's what I need you for. What brings you back? Uh, let's see here. I got the scruples. Fantastic. Now my union can grow and thrive. We'll turn this city around. I know it. I have one more task for you if you're up to it. I'm sure it won't take long. All right, what is it now? There's a gang called the Hog Riders. The gang uses snort hogs for joyriding. They're fast and reliable, but you need a snout flute to call a snort hog. Okay, where do I come in? Talk to snout stitches and bring me a snout flute. All right. Apparently, he loves food. We're, we're going the sandwich route again. Man, how is... This man is easily bribed by food. All right. It's all around town that all you got to do is give this guy a sandwich and he'll do anything. He's not even killing for money out here. He's beating dudes down for... Oh, I didn't want to wait. I wanted to talk to the cat. That's what I wanted to do. Kitty, I want to give you this fish bone. It won't let me give the kitty the fish bone feeling kind of bad about it now. All right, let's go get the snout flute real fast. I do wish the run speed was a little tiny bit faster since, like, time doesn't flow anyways, or maybe, like, a sprint option. Uh, I do feel like we kind of lackadaisically move around town, but, you know, maybe the revolution moves at a snail's pace. The camera can be a little bit weird, too, sometimes. 
Like, I don't control the camera, in case you're wondering. The camera is affixed, and it just does what it does based on your position on the map. I need you to do something for me. Can I have a snout flute? Here, take another sandwich. There you go. Sandwiches for all. Well, I got the four right there. That's what I was aiming for is the highest number, and I got it. Looks delicious. Here's a snout flute. Toot it once, and the hog will be right there. And if you trample anybody, make sure the hog doesn't get hurt. All right. So, the snout flute. Originally a mating call, now a call for a cab. Unlimited use. Can I use it right now? I just wanted to be, a, you know, I wanted to I wanted to get that, like, sailor's hornpipe on here. No, I can't do that. All right, fine. Whatever. What's the point in having snout hogs if you can't summon them via sea shanties? I bet you're wondering. Oh, okay, we already got that. Uh, here's your snout flute. Thanks, Terry. I've been doing some thinking while you were away. How about you keep this thing? I'm not comfortable with riding an animal anyways. Firstly, you're an adventurer. Secondly, you now have a fast and reliable way to travel around in Mesmer. Don't trample anybody. You can keep it. Alright, are you about to send me on another fetch quest? Nothing gets past you, huh? Alright, so there's something else I need your help with. It's the last thing, I promise. Look, giving me uncomfortably long stares isn't gonna work, Terry. I used to run an airship, you remember? Listen, I need more workers to sign up for the union. I thought, why not show them true union support, like feeding the hungry, for example. I need you to get me four sandwiches. All right, where do I get those? Talk to Gouda Nacho at the Fat Goose Foods. Maybe she's willing to donate some food. Otherwise, you can buy sandwiches at Crispina's Cart if you haven't already used your rationing ticket with her. Do I have a rationing ticket? I don't think I have a rationing ticket. All right, so we can get four sandwiches over here. Oh, cool, nice. So apparently we got a bunch of reputation with the workers right there, and we're up to silver now. Ooh, Luigi's in town, I think. Is he? No, it looks like Luigi's still down there. All right, snout flute. Snout flute! Snoot flute? How do I, how do I summon the snoot flute? Oh my god! Okay, so I have summoned it. Apparently it's the space bar. I'm gonna try my best not to run over anybody. There we go. I can hold a speech right there. We haven't done that yet. Let's go to Fat Goose Foods and see if we can help her out. Welcome to my humble restaurant, Fat Goose Foods. I'm Gouda Nacho. I own and run the place. Hot and tasty meals at fair prices. But keep in mind that I can only sell you one meal per day, rationing and whatnot. All right, can you spare some sandwiches? Just rationing, you know. How many are we talking about? Four would do it. I can't give four sandwiches away. I'm not allowed to sell more than one. I'm sure you can bend the rules a little. Um, I can threaten her. I'll take a mission. How about that? I feel terrible. People who not only live on a single meal a day, but a flavorless one. If I can get some dried tingle berries, I think I can boost the flavor and citizen morale quite a bit. All right, go to Pawn Shop Pete. He has all kinds of... Oh, all right. All right, so we got our sandwiches. I do... What I do like about this is they don't wait until the quest is over to give you the reward. Everything in this game is done on good faith. Like, you promise to do something... They give you the reward up front, and then you actually have to remember to go out and do it. That's kind of a nice, interesting change. Like, I know thus far all we've been doing is fetch quests, but still. All right, so let's go inside the pawn shop and get this going. Uh, you have tingleberries. I might have gotten some. Bought it off a sailor who was having an extended shore leave. All right, Gouda Nacho needs it. She can have it for all I care, but I ain't giving it up for free if that's your point. I need four points, and I got, like, nothing with this guy, so I would have to hit double twos. That's a tough one. Yeah. What if I give you a scruple? Huh? Huh? Alright, let's see what we can do here. Hey, we hit it. I figure as long as you look at the highest number and you go for it, like, it'll work out. Thanks for investing in Pete's old pawn shop. I'll let you have that one for free. All right, so we got the tingleberries. Let's get out of here. I need to drop off the four sandwiches with Earhart, so that's going to be important, too. And we only have four hours on that one. Three hours, in fact. Anytime we activate anything, it looks like uh, we're going to end it. Yeah, give me my give me my pigarino down here. Piggy time, piggy time, piggy time. My pig has butt cheeks, too, man. That's fine, dude. If, if a pig's on that Pilates game, they deserve the rewards that come therein. Judging by the smell, you brought me something. All right, 
I got the food. There you go. I'll give the food to the most hungry families. It's difficult to strike on an empty stomach. Thank you for everything you've done, Terry. You've been a great ally. Uh, we'll bump into each other again at some point. Sounds good to me. Uh, apparently, I now have gold standing with the workers' party, so that's good. The proletariat's got our back out here. We can feed the masses. Uh, I gotta find Luigi Sardini, but he's still not around, so let's just drop off the spices real fast. I assume as the day goes along, people move around and stuff. Uh, there's the tingleberries right there. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. None at all. Since I already have you here, you interested in helping me again? All right. I've completely run out of flour, and I can't order any more for now. Food rationing, you know. But I've found a way. I've made an arrangement with a worker down at the mill. She's gonna leave a crate of flour outside tonight. Can you bring me that flour? Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, I'll wait for you here tonight. Watch out for the policemen outside. Once night falls, they're gonna start patrolling the streets, and they'll arrest you if they see you past curfew. All right. So we've got Luigi Sardini. Wait for night when the crate of flour is ready. So it looks like we don't really have a whole lot going on right now. We've got a couple hours to kill. Uh, I'd like to go find Luigi, but it looks like he's behind this gate right here. And I don't think I have access to get around the gate. It looks like there might be like a stairwell over here or something that maybe I can go down and then back up. But like, I don't think so. Let's go look though. This kind of has like a Diaries of a Spaceport Janitor vibe to it where it's kind of like a little jank, but at the same time, like, there's th something there that you just want to keep exploring. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, oh, Luigi's house is underneath. Oh, Z levels. Ford Closure needs his rent. Well, he should come down here himself so I can speak to him face to face. I'll tell him a thing or two about these residences he rents out. Not my problem. I'm here for the scruples. Yeah, well, I'm not in the mood of handing out scruples to strangers. If Closure wants his money, he better come down here himself. I'm sure we can sort this out, man. Just give me the rent. If I hit that four, we basically guaranteed to get it. There we go. Alright, I guess it's convenient enough for me. Now that Closure's got his rent, he should make some repairs around this dump of a house. Dude, I know the feeling. You are preaching to the choir, let me tell you, man. Let me tell you, landlords, am I right? And he's like, but still you work for them. And I'm like, listen, man, we all got, you got bills to pay. I got bills to pay. All right, sometimes, uh, sometimes it's not all about class warfare, man. Uh, sometimes it's about, like, I don't want to starve. I guess we'll just cruise around town and go through the bins. I don't know if we'll find anything. Dude, we got money coming out of our ears right now. Okay, I had to try it again. The cops caught me, and the game froze up while the cops were catching me. So anyways, it wouldn't let me interact. It wouldn't let me spin the wheel to convince them to drop the charges. Aw, oh, dude. There's a lot of cops around. We got problems out here. I don't know what my ultimate goal is, but there we go. Jump off the piggy. We got the crate a little bit further, but, like, the cops are, like, everywhere right now. Like, literally everywhere. Not super sure how I'm going to get around them. Luckily, we're not on, like, a time limit right now, so that's okay. We can sort of, like, wait it out. I'm going to come down here to the end of the dock, and hopefully he doesn't come this way. There's another cat right there. What do the cats do? Kitty. The kitties provide you with moral reinforcement because cats are, by their nature, anti-authoritarian. They can't help themselves. That's why cats are so beloved, is because they just degaff. I have no idea how I'm getting past this cop. What I need is for him to reset back to where he was. I don't know if he's going to see me off the side right there either. Unfortunately, your camera view is pretty limited at night. It actually fills in with a little bit of black and gray around the edges, and the camera is already a little touch and go, in all honesty. Uh, where did the flower crate go? Didn't I drop it, like, right up here? Oh, he's got me, like, dead bang, dude. There's no way around this guy. They definitely, if they're going to do stealth sections, they got to provide you with more options. 
Like, I'm not a big fan of stealth sections to begin with. But stealth sections like this one where it's just like, you get caught. Like, he's, he's on the main thoroughfare. There's no way for me to get around him. I mean, I guess I could try to pull him down this way. But they're pretty fast, man. Actually, it looks like I can go around. Maybe I'll go around. Now that we've ditched him down there, he's going to reset. I want to break out the pig, but like I feel like the pig, he's hard to control. Trust me, the pig is kind of... Mm, like You're taking your life in your hands if you go with the pig option. Let me tell you what. All right, so let's move in silence like a gangster out here. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's a lot of cops, man. I'm not so sure about this stealth mission. This stealth mission seems kind of rigged. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, their, their line of sight has no gap to get through with that crate. Uh, I had urgent business. Let me go, please. I guess I got caught. So I'm going to disappoint somebody. But that mission was kind of, like, not winnable, I don't think. Like, you can't, like, the crate is at the bottom of the stairs right there. And there's, like, five cops at the top of the stairs. I guess I could have gone the long way around left, maybe. But, uh, good morning, Miss Terry. Did you sleep well? Who are you? Officer Felix Brass, Chief of the Secret Police and Honorary Supervisor of the Mind Bending Academy at your service. Alright, what can I do for you? Telling me about yourself, Terry. How did you like coming back home and what are you planning to do? What business do you have with Jessica Earhart and her accomplices? I have every right to question. You've chosen poor company to keep, Miss Terry. Jessica Earhart is a troublemaker and now she's dragged you down as well. But since you've recently arrived, I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. Clearly. Let's step outside. Maybe the fresh air will clear your head. Citizens of Mesmer, before you stands Jessica Earhart, a smuggler turned rebel. Guilty of inciting revolt, seeding disobedience, and spreading lies about the state. Her union has been causing riots and forcing workers to turn on their peers. Jessica Earhart, your crimes are severe, and you will be punished accordingly. I know of your accomplice, and she will not evade me for long. Justice will be served. This is a warning to all of you. We don't tolerate troublemakers in the city. Miss Terry, can we talk? I know you must be as shocked as we are, but it's urgent. My name is Marlon Snapper. I work at the cannery. You recruited us for the strike yesterday? Look, miss, we didn't all see eye to eye with Earhart, especially when she was going on about revolution, but she wanted everyone to have a shot at a decent life. And what she got was a horsing. Listen, this can happen to anybody at any time, especially you. I think you're in trouble. What should I do? Pick up where she left off. It looks like she was right. Decent wages for decent work is one thing, but it's bigger than that. We need a change. We need to rise up and make a stand. All right, where should I start? We found this in Earhart's locker. Guess Jessica won't need it anymore. All right, what is it? It's a crowd horn. What does it do? Some kind of mind-bending device and very powerful. Let's you gather a crowd of listeners in no time. Trust me, you're going to need it. Start speaking through it in a public place. Bypassers won't be able to resist the sound and will flock to you in numbers. Can't really get much attention any other way. No, you're going to get their attention, but you'll still have to convince them with arguments. Different groups respond to different arguments, and since you can't please them all, you'll need to hold more than one speech. All right, where should I hold it? A big public space should do the trick as long as there's something to stand on, like the fountain over there. Make a powerful counterexample to the horsing that just took place. All right, crowd horns are single use only, and nobody except mind benders can have them, so they're real hard to find. The one you have now, use it quickly. We need to act if we're going to see this through. All right. Apparently, it's day two. Oh, no, dude, my police suspicion is bad. But people are protecting me, so that's good. I will be horsed in one day? No, dude, I don't want to be horsed. Apparently, I need, sub I need public support here. Um, let's go ahead and say merchants give progress and prosperity. If not for their supply lines, the current food shortage would be worse. Oh. 
everyone should be free to do whatever they want. The underground? Okay. You go freedom of expression. Humans need more than food and clothes. In the future, Mesmer will be a place where everyone can express themselves. Apparently, they're not fans of me right now. We demand to be heard. Equal representation for all. So it looks like we have to like push in with the, oh, the police are about to nudge in. Oh no. We choose death over more taxes. Chase the blue caps out of town. Okay, so I kind of see how it works now. The king must be replaced by the right man of noble stock. We can look to the nobility for leadership. Yeah, let's do that. Stick it to the blue caps. All right. Uh, yeah, the king is weak, bro. The king is a douche nozzle. People can only see truth through expression and art. All right, recognize the artists. The revolution is now, brothers and sistren. The creators of the nation's wealth can no longer accept to be treated as second rank citizens. I mean, I'm just trying to address people's concerns right now. Like, as the concerns come up, I'm giving... Oh, that didn't help out very much. Everyone should be free to do whatever they... I don't know about that one. The people of the underbridge are denied food. Okay. I don't think I can level up my influence with anybody right now, so I might as well save my influence with them. That might push them out the furthest. I think the size of the crowd is the like the way that pushes them out. There we go. Push them back a little bit. Push them. I just need one more. No! Apparently the people have... I have three days until I'm getting horsed now. Very nice. That's much, much better. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Mesmer. This is one of those games that's chock-a-block with good ideas. Like, it's not always executed, like, perfectly, but it is a game that's taking a lot of risks. And I respect that. It's not necessarily something that you've ever seen before. And it's something you definitely wouldn't see from AAA gaming, like, ever. Nobody would take a risk on a game like this. So check it out down below. Uh, I definitely like the, the enthusiasm that the game has for being different. I'm a big fan of that whenever games like this come up. And so anyways, I am curious to see how the long game is going to play out with us raising a revolution. Uh, take care, everybody, and I will see you all tomorrow. Something fraught and fresh off the indie skillet. Bye.